What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Ram here, and today I have some more Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 news. It's literally popping up by the hours. Now, hopefully, there won't be anything else popping up in the course or the middle of the night, but if it is, I will let you guys know. So, if you're new to this channel, subscribe, and I'll keep you guys in the loop with this game as it happens when it happens. Now, the most recent bit of news comes from the official V Jump Twitter in Japan, and they posted three new images. And by the way, if you missed all the news from today, I will link all those videos in the description below. So, go over there and watch those, and then come back to this if you missed those. But as I said, the most recent news comes actually from V Jump's Twitter, and they posted three new images. Now, two of the images, or excuse me, four images. Two of those images are actually just from a gameplay trailer that we saw today, which features Turles and Future Gohan fighting, but the other two are a bit more interesting. The first image shows off what looks to be Frieza's spaceship, and we see t uh, three time patrollers, as well as a pool of raspberry, and they're kind of walking somewhere. It's tough to tell if this is actually part of Canton City, the new uh, hub world that exists in Xenoverse 2, or if this is some kind of uh, co-op to the campaign story. If you guys remember, Xenoverse 1 did not have a co-op campaign story. If you wanted to play missions with your friends, you were only limited to doing parallel quests. So it would actually be really, really cool if we wanted to, optional, if we wanted to, if we can actually play the campaign story with our friends. But of course, uh, I can't answer that question just quite yet just because I don't know. It's, just, it's tough to tell what this image actually is. Now, when I find out if this is going to be co-op campaign or whatever, I will let you guys know. But for now, I will leave this to your own speculations. Do you think this is going to be a co-op campaign or is this is something completely different? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. Now, the second image is a lot more interesting, and that's because we have Frieza shocked and we see a very familiar elbow. It's Cooler. It's none other than Cooler himself. Now, the question I had uh, when I first saw this game revealed a couple weeks ago is how are they going to include the movie characters in the main timeline? Because in case you guys didn't know, all the movies in Dragon Ball, not counting, you know, Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, aren't canon. They're just kind of like side movies that were just made to uh, be enjoyed by the Dragon Ball Z fans, but this, the timelines don't really fit into the main story. But here we have something completely different than you. We have Frieza and Cooler in the same frame. Frieza and Cooler versus the uh, Time Patroller and Goku. Like, how twisted is this timeline for this to happen? Now, I'm really hyped. Because previously, like I said, I thought the story was just going to consist of you fixing the movie timelines. But now the fact that we see a crossover of the movies with the actual timeline, I'm excited about that. Because think about all the changes. Think about the opportunities and possibilities you can have when you take basically movie characters and toss them into the main timeline. Like, for example, we have Frieza and Cooler. What if you have, like, Broly and Cell? Or, like, Bojack and, like, you know, Kid Buu? If they have all these different... Oh, that'd be kind of weird because obviously Bojack happened right after Cell. So maybe, maybe Bojack and Cell, but you get the picture. Including the movie villains with the main villains, that would make a very interesting story. Now again, as of right now, I have no clue what the plans are for the campaign mode or how it's going to work, but we do have a little bit of these pieces of the puzzle, and I'm talking about these pictures, which reveal what we can kind of expect, and the fact that we have these villains crossing over, that's intense. The question I have for you guys is, is what main villain and what movie villain put together are going to be the biggest threat? In my opinion, if we get to the point where we have Janimba and Kid Buu, that's going to be interesting. Can you guys imagine that? Janimba and Kid Buu facing off against like Super Saiyan 3 Goku and a Time Patroller. That will be an incredible... That's a dream right there. And to take it even a step further, imagine Kid Buu fusing or absorbing Janimba and then it's like an incredible boss battle. If that happens, I'm literally... Excuse my language. I'm going to lose my shit. I will lose my shit because I love Janimba and I love Kid Buu. And if we get that kind of situation in the story, I'm just going to be a huge fan. I'm, I'm already fanboy just thinking about it. Now, of course, when we get some more information about what's going to be in the campaign mode, I will let you guys know. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll keep you guys in the loop. But for now, I'll leave this to your imaginations. What do you think is going to happen in the story of Dragon Ball Z 2? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get off right now. I made so many videos today, but I am going to E3 tomorrow with my friends Afro Senju and C-Reacts. And hopefully, they'll tell me more information. And of course, if they do, I'll make a video. And I have a bunch of questions that I got from you guys from a couple of videos ago. If they answer any of those questions, I'll make a video. And if they don't, well, then I will let you guys know what to tell me. <laughs> if you follow me on Twitter, at RyanStyle, I can also live tweet stuff that I find out as well. But again, I don't know what they're going to tell me because I feel like with the way this game is set up right now and how they're planning on essentially distributing information about the game over the next couple weeks, they're probably going to tell me very little at E3 tomorrow. But again, anything I find out, I will let you guys know. So for now, let's just see what happens. Anyways, if you're hyped for Xenoverse 2, make sure you leave a like right below. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop me a comment. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Rhymestyle, and I will see you all your awesome super sandwiches and time patrollers in the comment section below. Peace.